Utopian Chronicles Multidimensions Episode 19 Angelo advances to conquer Cardina. The day had finally arrived. The Cardina forces under Angelo were about to move at last. He had purposely waited until the other Cardinal forces fought each other and tie up before he made before he moved up on them. Now he gave out his orders to his forces. Angelo. Now is the time. But all of Cardinal will know it's true leader. He will send these rulers of the past back to their graves. Santa saying I want you both to attack the Dumbleton. Sanford and Zane. Yes, sir. Angelo. First in and Sophia. First in and Sophia. Yes, sir. Angelo. I need you to crush the spade. First in and Sophia. It will be done. Angelo. We must hit them hard and wipe them out in our first and only encounter with them. I want you all to come up with brilliant plans to this end. The event will combine as one and I will lead all to defeat the Harton and then the Carrots. Last, men, women of Angelo Cardino, let me hear the cries of war. Oh! Sanfan was an Atlantean who was proud to see his home world returned as its as his people attempted, his people accepted by the Angelican Empire. He was teamed up with Zane, Zane known as the Dancing Killer. He would use his dance moves to fight as he had blades on his boots and gloves. They planned a way to get all of the Hamilton in one place and to kill them in one go. Sometime. Okay, so this is what we would do. We'll first steal all their diamonds and gold. They love money and they keep it all in their treasure fort near the northeast of the main castle. Saying, then I should be bait to lure them out. For sure, then what? Sometimes. Then we will lure them to the dam we have been constructing and break it and flood and use the flood waters to wipe them out with their gold. Saying, ah, I see. So we get the treasure laid on the floor, laid on the flood path, and while they are busy filling up their pockets. Ah, you're cold sometimes. This sense of fear, who were the first to arrive at the plains, knew how to get the spade, know how to get the spade castle back doing this coming. Thurston. Ah, see Sophia, cast the spade. Sophia, so what are you going to do? Fight them all? Just the two of us? Thurston. No silly. We blend in as tourists. We are all trending after all. We just convinced them that there is profit to be made in tourism. Sophia. Ah, that way we can get a layout of the castle without risking our lives. Thurston. Exactly. The two of them moved towards the castle gates and were stopped by Adrian Van. Who was standing there? Adrian, who are you lot? I never saw you two before. First time. Ah, certainly. We are travelers from, afar, from the foreign hall. They come as tourists to view their kingdom's capital. Adrian, ah, fellow people of Spain, what are your names? Sophia, ah yes, I am Sophia, and this is Thurston. Uh, my husband, it's a honeymoon, first time, confused. What? Sophia holds him with her elbow and he and catches on and shakes his head in agreement and kisses Sophia on the cheek. First thing, yes, we're honeymooners. What better way to start our new lives here? New lives than here. Adrian, impressed. Ah, oh, young love. I wish I... I, I mean... Come, follow me, I'll show you around. So Adrian showed them everything as she was unsure what not to show them. After the tour, they returned to the front gate and said their goodbyes. Thurston, thanks again, Adrian. We will never forget this kindness. Adrian, no problem. Enjoy your new lives together. Thurston, yes, we will be back. There's lots more of us. Promise. Adrian, looking forward to it. 
Thanks. Bye now, Sophia. Goodbye. Now back to the present time. Listen, if this until we gather, my dear wife, we can keep our promise and bring all our friends to the castle. Sophia. Hey, that was only for a couple. We're not married. Listen, that's not what they think. Let's go, my beloved. Sophia. Playful, a playful tune. Ah, you. You're too much, you know. The plans were in place. And Candino and the Padine forces moved up as Andrew looked ahead from within his ship at the rising. He had no idea of the danger that was heading towards his brother at home.